Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share an update on my experience with the PicaGo. This is a UMPC, aka an ultra mobile PC, that can literally fit in the palm of your hand. And it was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review and full disclosure, as usual, keeping it real, I always do. And at roughly 300 US when this does launch, and I will include links in the description for their uh, Indiegogo, I think it's either that or Kickstarter, this is a really cool little piece of kit. And if you're wondering who would want something like this, well, if you ever thought about having an ultra mobile PC, it's a good time to be interested. I mean, between its price point and its functionality, I think it's a great little device. Now, it isn't just an ultra mobile PC, it does have the 360 degree hinge. So if you wanna take this into tablet mode or tent mode, you can do that. And you can use this as an e-reader, you can use this pretty much as anything you want. I mean, it's lightweight, again, 300 US dollars, I believe is going to be the retail price. You have uh, 128 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM, an Intel extremely low voltage netbook processor, but it's competent. It, you know, it's not gonna do anything like an Ultrabook would. It has solid battery life. I'll go ahead and open up uh, Chrome right now and you'll get an idea of how it works in tablet mode. I'm not gonna set this as the default. I thought I had already done that. Let's go and open up uh, some news here. Full HD 7 inch IPS display and you can already see it's not incredibly fast but it's more than competent uh, for the task of being a go everywhere tiny computer that you can literally fit in a pocket and when I say a pocket I mean my cargo shorts you know something like that that's where this can fit so very you know I would say functional flexible device uh, it does have uh, a nice array of ports right here. I have it upside down, <laughs> confusing myself. We have a Type-C port for charging, Type-A USB port. We have uh, video out. We have a headphone jack and then a micro SD card slot. That's more I.O. than you might get on an Ultrabook like some of the ones I'm reviewing right now. This literally has more uh, in terms of I.O. than you know several of the uh, laptops I'm covering, specifically the Surface products. But... I think that this does have a place out there. I mean, if you're looking for something really compact uh, that still has everything uh, a PC has, it just doesn't have the horsepower that you would get with a traditional system, you found it. I clicked on something accidentally. You're seeing, uh, it's ironic that that's what I got accidentally, right? Vomit. But you just, you have a great little versatile machine. Let's go over to state news. And the keyboard has nice travel. They are tiny keys. If you have larger hands, you're going to be challenged. Uh, there's no question about it. I don't have large hands. I don't have microscopic hands. Uh, but, you know, it just, it works well. Uh, it's not perfect. I don't expect something perfect here. You can see when I tried to zoom out, it didn't, uh, it's, it's responding relatively well. We have a webcam, microphone right there. Uh, battery life so far has been solid. You can see right now we're sitting at what they're calling 65%. I'm at best performance and it's showing an hour and 44 minutes remaining. So who do I think this is for? I think this is gr great for people that, you know, want to be, that are doing coding, things like that, and they don't want to carry around a full-size laptop. It's more about light tasks than heavy stuff. I think it's probably good for people that are in IT in general, because it's going to give them even if it's not a fast computer, it's going to give them a computer everywhere they go without, you know, carrying something ridiculous. And I think that's who it's going to appeal to. I hate to say it's just for, you know, nerds like myself and many of you out there, but this is not a mainstream product. Uh, but again, because the build quality is solid, because you do have a full version of Windows, granted, I did have to upgrade it. It comes in Windows S mode out of the box, but that's a free upgrade, of course you have a really functional little thing here. So let's go ahead and jump. Actually, I'll open another tab so you can see uh, what YouTube looks like. And it's totally doable to type on this thing. Um, you know, for content consumption, not bad. I'm gonna show you what the speakers are like. And that's probably where I'll close it today for, again, just an update on performance. The mouse, I mean, this is something from years past. Uh, it's better than nothing. That's the way I would put it. It's not my ideal solution, but when you think about how small this machine is, you start to realize uh, it's not bad. So let's go ahead and take a look at my channel here for a second. 
and I will just hit the video tab and scroll down. Let's go ahead and take a look at some ultra books, which makes sense because here I'm talking about how that's what this, you know, doesn't compare with. But I think it does compare with tablets. You know, if you think about, you know, purchasing this in place of a tablet, I could see why. You're getting arguably more functionality at a lower price point, waiting for that to finish buffering. Full HD is as good as you're going to do. And it's still buffering. And now it finally resolved. Give you a nice little close up there. It does have a glossy screen, but speakers, you know, they're thin. You're not going to, how much are you really expecting? And then if I try to jump across this video, you'll see what the buffering is like. Pretty good. So again, I think this is good for a certain segment of adults. I think it's great for kids. If you're looking for a computer to give your children, um, that you're not going to worry about if they break it or anything like that. And also that it's compact and after all, it'll, it'll work with their hands. But I do believe there's still a place for ultra mobiles. And then the fact that it is a 360, it does have storage expansion. It does have decent build quality, especially for its price point. I think there's a lot to like with the PicoGo, and I'm really glad that they reached out to me. And I will give you more updates because I think this is kind of a little killer product that's a bit of a sleeper. And there are other things that compete with it, uh, GDP, uh, you know, uh, several things. But I like what PicoGo has done here. Credit to them for making an affordable ultra mobile PC in 2019. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.